Dumb things I've done with my trucks. You ever done any of these? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. I've been thinking, you know, there have been a few dumb things that I've done with my trucks, you know, just boneheaded things, right? And looking back, I wonder why did I ever do any of these, you know? So I thought I'd run through, let you guys know, and I'm even more curious if, uh, if you've experienced or done any of these things, or is it just me? You know, first off, and we're going to start with the mundane or the, the more trivial ones, I guess and then work our way up to the big daddy. Number one, leaving the engine running. You know, this is probably one of the, the most boneheaded things I've done, right? I was actually at my own house. I pulled up, I was in the driveway. For some reason, I had to get out of the truck. I don't know if I had maybe forgot something I don't recall or if I was just in a hurry to get out. I don't know, but I pull up and these were in the days when uh, you could lock your keys inside the truck. They weren't as smart back then as they are today, right? So I pull up in the driveway, truck's running, of course. I mean, I pulled up, right? I open the door and for some reason I hit the lock on the door. And I, I be honest with you, I still do that today. You know, if I get out of the truck instead of hitting the fob, I usually just push the button on the side of the door. I did it in this truck, and it was a Tacoma, by the way. It was my older uh, blazing blue one, I think. Uh, but anyway, I pull up, I lock the door, I get out, and you have one of those, oh, shoot moments, right? Where I realized the truck is running. I'm outside. I even went around to the front of it just to listen, just to make sure that it really was running because I couldn't believe I did this. It is, it's running. So now what? What am I going to do? Am I going to call the police, see if I can get them to come to my house and let me in? Uh, do I try to put something down through the window myself? That's actually what I ended up doing. I had a hanger and I stuck that down, you know, and you hate to do this because you're afraid of messing up the window or maybe that rubber stripping. I don't know, but I stuck it down there. And luckily for me, I was actually able to go ahead and unlock the truck. But what a boneheaded thing to do. Uh, next thing, and this was back in my old uh, screwing around days, right? You know, I had this buddy who had this Junker Datsun uh, station wagon, I think it was. And he used to beat the crap out of this thing. He used to jump over railroad tracks. I mean, just beat it like you wouldn't believe. And I was in a truck. At that time, it was not a Tacoma. It was a, a full-size Chevy. And I remember... On occasion, he would pull up if he was behind me and he would tap the back of my truck, right? Used to drive me nuts. I did not appreciate that. So it's get even time. We're at, a, we're at a light and he's in front of me now and I'm in this big truck, right? He's in this little Datsun station wagon. So I pull up behind him and I did it real slow. I didn't want to bam into him or anything. I wanted to push him and I did. I pulled up got the bumper right up there against his and pushed him right out into the intersection. It was hilarious. Not one of the brightest things to do. I mean, it's possible my bumper could have slid up over his car um, and maybe damaged the rear, the hatch, whatever it was he had on the back. I don't know. Maybe he could have even been hit by traffic that was crossing. It wasn't a smart thing to do. It was one of the dumbest things I've done in my truck, I think. Um, number three, left the lights on. You know, in this, I had more on my mind, right? I had just quit a job. It was a bad situation. This was many years ago. You know, one of those throwaway jobs that you have when you're, this was actually in high school, I think. Um, but I quit the job. It was one of those walkout moments. And uh, I actually had, I forget, somewhere that I went and I got out and I went inside and I left the lights on. And I was a stickler for this, right? I always make sure, because I'm aware it'll run your battery down and then you have a whole nother problem, right? But I did it. I left the lights on. I went inside wherever I was going for a while, came out. It was probably two or three hours later. And click, click, truck wouldn't start because I ran the battery down. Now, fortunately, there were other people around. Somebody was kind enough to give me a jump. 
But uh, what a drag that was. Number four, I smoked a radio. You know, back in my early modding days, you know, I would change radios out quite frequently. I probably replaced every radio in every truck I ever had. And I didn't know a lot about it. And the radios were getting more and more sophisticated. You know, there were more wires on the back. So I hooked this thing up, I turn it on, and I smell smoke. And then pop, a fuse blows, right? Fortunately, a fuse blew because something was smoking. Now, I don't know, I don't recall if I could actually see smoke, but I, I could smell smoke. Guess what? Radio never worked again. I, I hooked something up wrong. Obviously, that pink wire was supposed to be a red wire or that black wire was not supposed to go to positive. I don't remember what I did, but that was one of the dumbest things that I did. A brand new radio, fortunately back then, they weren't real expensive, but still, I think I was working as a dishwasher at the time. So I wasn't making a lot of money anyway. That was a drag. Number five, one of the most dangerous dumb things I ever did in my truck, I lost a load. And this, you know, I kick myself still to this day. It wasn't that long ago. It was in the back of my Tacoma. Um, again, it was that blazing blue one, I think. That blue one was bad luck for me. But I threw one of those uh, lawn sweepers in there. You know, those big lawn sweepers that you hook up to the back of a tractor, like a garden tractor, you pull it along and it has one of those little wheel-like things on it. You pull up leaves and sticks and all that stuff. Well, put it in the back of the truck and I wasn't going far, uh, maybe two miles. And I thought, you know, it's heavy enough. I didn't want to screw with whipping out the bungee cords and all that. And again, I thought it's heavy enough. It took two of us to lift it, not a problem. So we're driving down a, it was a 50, 55 mile an hour road. I think I was doing 45, I was going slower. And I look in the mirror cause I'm con continuously watching it just in case. And I tell you what, that thing caught the wind and it lifted up and it was, this was like slow motion. When these things happen, it's like slow motion, right? I'm watching it in my rear view mirror, lift up out of my bed, kind of grazed the tailgate as it's popping out of my truck and slams down the road. And then I see it, you know, going crazy as it's going down the road. We were doing like 45 mile an hour. And of course I wasn't alone. Behind me is a white full-size van, like one of those cargo type vans. Boy, he wasn't happy. And he's on the horn, probably waving at me with the wrong finger. I don't know. And, and I deserved it. It was my fault. I should have tied it down. Fortunately for me, it did not damage the lawn sweeper. It wasn't mine. But what a boneheaded, stupid thing to do, right? Number six, the worst one, the more serious one, the accident. Um, I hate to admit it, I'm on the freeway, right? And fortunately, it was at an off-ramp or lined up to get to the off-ramp, heavy traffic rush hour, and I'm behind a car and for some reason, I'm, I, I, and we're just inching along. We weren't like doing 70 or anything. We're just inching along, you know, as traffic would get through the light. But I look down at my feet. So I'm looking down in the wheel well, right? What am I looking for? I don't know. Maybe I dropped something. I don't know. Or something touched my leg. I, who knows? But I look down and then bam. And I, I could not believe it. I couldn't believe it. I rear-ended this, this car and it was, uh, I think it was like a Nissan Z something. I can't remember what version it was, but I rear-ended this car and it was a decent hit, a rolling hit, but nothing too extreme. So we get to pull over and you know, the guy gets out and he was a nice guy, you know, and he's looking at his, his bumper and there, you, there was no visible damage. You couldn't see anything, not even a scratch on his bumper cover because everything's plastic. Um, but he did mention, and he was right, that he wanted my number and my license, not, which, you know, you do that. I did it. I'm guilty. So I gave it all to him. And he said he was taking it in case he discovered any problems with it down the road. Like maybe it pushed the bumper in and you couldn't tell because the plastic trim, I think he was in a hurry. Or maybe he didn't want the men in blue to come. I don't know. But I never did hear from him again. And all was good. But that was such a stupid thing. Again, pay attention. I'm looking down at my feet in the wheel well, looking at my feet while I'm moving. What a stupid thing to do. One of the dumbest things I've ever done with my truck. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever done anything dumb in your truck. I'd be curious to know, or am I the only 
one? Certainly I can't be. Leave a comment. Also, real quick, I have two other channels. Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatch. Do me a favor, check them out. If you like them, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.